have a very interesting um, subject matter, the Tony Ilimelu Foundation 5,000 US dollar grant that the application opened 1st of this January and we ended by 22nd of April this year. I'll be giving you details on format data of the record in 2021 and how it happened, what influenced in 2021 and what happened in shortlisting with that data. I'll be walking you through the process of registering for this um, 2023 application. And also I'll be giving you a guide on what to look at during the application process and also the to-do things you need to put and do on time and they don't what you don't need to do mm -hmm. so how you doing you're welcome to my channel these are the things we were looking at i said well, i'm a well, by name I'm a business coach and a consultant i help business owner do three things structure their business have proper system that is operational standard procedure and have strategy to grow their revenue through sales by giving proper value to their target market and having proper strategy to reduce your expenses. All these are what the team will melo, which is the TF Foundation is looking for in your business, where they can give you the 5,000 US dollar to grow your business. Remember, this money is not a loan. This money is a grant, meaning it's tax free. Meaning, meaning it's tax free and also. You don't need to pay back the, the foundation this morning. Let's get dive into today and let's look at what there's a lot I want to show you. There's a lot I have to offer you. So let's do something now. Mm, 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 mm. So before we go into the application process, I'll be guiding you on how to do the application, everything. Years ago, I was privileged to be part of the mentors in the program and work with them in the shortlisting of what? The applicant. There are a lot of things I saw during the video pitching that I believe that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. even though I want to give you my money, even though I'm willing to dash you my money, I won't give you. This video is off it. Now, the Tourette Foundation is a foundation that I can say is one of the most authentic foundation in Africa. I can beat my chest for it, not because I'm a Nigerian, but, but simply because their processing is impeccable. Mm -hmm. So let's continue. So why do I say this? These people work with data. So all those, oh God, oh God, please let them shortlist me. When you know you've not done the right thing, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time, brother and sister. You need to do the right thing, then you pray. Fair enough, pray then. Heaven cannot knock on their heart of people like them in Bukun, the people that we put in the lady that handle the program all, all eh, annually. So not going to the heart of people that will be shortlisting you in the process. Let's look at the data from the previous years. Um, This is a video, this is a content I have created that I'll be sharing towards maybe by from May this year for people that will be shortlisted for what the elevator pitch. But I have something I need to share with you now so that because I say when the purpose of the thing is not known, Abuse is, in the, is inevitable. You need to have a clear insight of what you want to do so you can value the process of this TF Tunile Melu uh, Foundation Grant for 2023 application process. So let's do something now. This is a data. I would have loved to increase this, but I don't know for God, some, some reason why I can't increase this guy. But nevertheless, why well, yeah, hmm? so well, yeah, let's just continue. So let's do something. In 2020, this data, take note of what I'm reading. The 2021 entrepreneurship program application at a glance, it was made available. Maybe some of people, some people that I read in the got this, why some just keep it true. So he said the total applicant for 2020 and 2021 together, because in 2020 there was COVID. That time we're hearing we we're, were all using uh, mask. We are all sanitizing, drinking sanitizer, rubbing sanitizer. Uh -huh. and that's, I'm trying to explain that here to you. So in 2020 and 21 together, the foundation have 4,000, 4,000, 400,000, 406,000 
257 applicants for the two years combined. Then the total shortlisted for that training for these two years combined, which was last year, people that got the grant in 2021, 2022, 2020, 2020, 2021 applicants. We award 206,550 applicants. That is 50.85%. 50, 50, uh, that is more than half of the people that applied was shortlisted after the application stage to go into the business training stage. Mm -hmm. So although it's a bit small, that's why my eye is still shining. I'm still very young, so I can see. For those of you that are papa and mama that cannot see, I'll borrow you my eye so you can see. So let's continue. That was, that was a lighter note. So urban ruler by application was split to people that applied from the ruler environment. We are 52.7%. People that applied from the urban area was one was no sorry people that applied from the rural area was fifty thousand fifty two thousand seven hundred and some three hundred forty six percent. Then why the urban area was one hundred and fifty three thousand people that applied. When you now say, are you in the city? You are in the rural area. Now I explain the rural area. Are those people that say, eh, we know they try small small bosha. They take like two times in a week. No, they take like three times in a day. The road not too good. Things are not too okay. Those are the rural area. The urban area, those people that, sure, they take their light four times in a week. And at times, Nepal come to cut their light. And at times, the road is good, but they have amenities. So, you think that developed area and upcoming developing area, that is urban and what? Rural area. Let's take this over. I say gender distribution. You could see that men... <laughs> The main applicant for these two years together we are worth more. That is to say, 6.62 percent of these 406,257 applicants were men. That is to say, what does this mean? The people that applied 129,000 people say that they were men, 76,560 people say, I'm a babe. I'm not a man. I'm babe. I'm yori yori, and those kind of things. Good. So why? Um, five five hundred and thirty three, uh, one five hundred and thirty four persons said, "I'm not going to tell you whether I'm a male or female. Leave me alone. Give me the money. Let me go home. That's why I'm here for." The people that said it. So let's not go further and say. Okay. Say so, the application stage of this business distribution, where what distribution or business stage state that many. Of the selected applicant, it is it is seven point eighty two percent are in the idea stage, and if at minute most of the people that applied between 2021, 2020, uh, 2021 2020, they were just in what the idea stage, and I will explain this about the new foundation. The foundation sponsor and finance true grant theory category of business owners. The first people are the people that have idea. The other people are those people that are startups. Another part are the people that are on root stage. Hold on, I will explain to you. Don't feel ah, that grammar is too much. Hold on. So the idea is that people that say, this is a tea. Let me drink. Thank you. So to me, learning should be fun. Learning should not be excusing face. I know some of you came up with strong face. I want to learn. Hold on. When you learn and have fun, you stick to your head. Put on that you're excusing your face. All your veins are showing. So let's continue. Let's say you want to now do tea. In your mind, really you thinking, I really wish to offer tea in my area because of the cold in the morning. That is your idea. You are still, you know, not being at idealization stage. You've not yet put in practice. You've not yet invested something from you into that part. That what is idea stage. If that means you've started trying to do something, you've done your paperwork, you've not yet taken place. I know some people are like, I know, go, go, continue, continue. No, please. Some people have no idea of what you think you know. That is to say, nobody is an island. So listen, you can even read, you can even learn to relearn. Let's continue. So they now realize that, um, good, 58.9%, that is, 121,660 people at this stage are idea stage. 
why 59,730 people that applied within 2021 and 2020, which forms 28.9% are what? Infant stage. Why 25,152 applicants, which forms 12.18% 12, 12 12, 12 of the general applicants, we are what on growth stage, meaning they very start their businesses, they, they have start doing something, they need the money for buying more equipment, they are afraid to increase their businesses. Which category do it belongs to? Idea stage, um, startup, or growth stage? Answer that question. So this data enough to scare you off. Then I go for that again. It says something here. Let's look at this data here. <laughs> Top, 10 top countries that applied within these two years. Nigeria, 70.60%. Meaning Nigeria took more than half of the applicant for these two years together. Followed by Benin, which is 3.51%. Followed by Uganda, 3.38%. Cameroon, 2.79%. Mali, 2.65%. Kenya, 1.95%. Namibia, 1.55%. Rwanda, 1.44%. Burundi, 1.3%. Chad, 1.14%. These are the 10 top Africa countries that apply more within these two years, 2021, 2022, the 2020, 2021 review we are doing. Then I ask, do I really need all this data? I just want to apply. Let me just know. No. If you don't know your environment, if you don't know what you are competing for, you're just going to feed the form, drink and rent in your year, go to church, pray, go to monks, pray, tell your alpha, nothing will still happen because you need data so that you should know that when you be, when I'm teaching you how to apply for this thing, you take it serious. Mm -hmm. It's $5,000. Let's continue. Let's be serious here. Thank you. So, good. If look at it now. Gender distribution. Now, okay, this is... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to bring out something. My laptop is just going. So let's go on now. You look at now the fundings, third form funding, additional funding, meaning Tinmelu is funding 1,000 people for that year. Then EU, the European Union, from this logo is funding 2,420,000 ,000 people. Then Google will be sponsoring 500,000 people. Sorry, 500 people, please. Sorry, don't go and say it's giving wrong data. Then UNDP 200, KFW 200, IC, I believe it's going to be International Red Cross Association. I don't really know that. But these are distribution. Now, not that these people are going to, not that Google is going to send you money. No, they don't trust you. They don't even know you. So what did they do? The menu is not, the function is not coming as a mediator, as a middleman. You see, we have the system. We can scrutinize these people. We can shortlist them, assess their business idea. Before we can I? So go go in partnership. Go go. Sorry, I'm getting an alert for training. So alert is very important. Alert make me fire on way. So that's why I have to check my phone. Let's continue. So, so these are the distribution. So let's take a step further. So go go and other people are supporting Tunil Melu as partner to help African entrepreneurs. So let's take it a step further now. While learning, you will learn, you must learn. So, um, ah, shit. So, 10 top distribution sector people that applied in this time. <laughs> Our Greek, we have 106,000, 100, 100, sorry, 106,092 people that applied from Our Greek, meaning the people that applied all through were what? 106,000 people. Now around 92 persons. Then breveries and food was 558 people. Fashion, all those kind of, uh -huh, those kind of, uh -huh, those kind of dressing. Get how many people that did that? 441 people. These are people that were shortlisted for the next stage. You not everybody now. So then yeah, now going. I say beauty and awareness, 50, 253 persons. Education and training. 245 persons, manufacturing, 221 persons, ICT, 219 persons, commercial and retail, 215 persons, healthcare, 
Mm-hmm. Ladies like only chicken injection, pharmacy, all those kind of drugs and cool. Uh-huh. Healthcare, one hundred and seventy two persons. Waste management. These are what sector distribution, because are these people know what they are doing. They know you. So you cannot come do gamble and get the money. No, 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 no. So I'm doing this. By the time I start opening the how to apply, you should have an insight of what we want to achieve. Let's take it a step further now. You say. Training category. So at the end of the day, the Tenmo Foundation have four categories of training. Depending on how you apply, depending on the, what's it called? Depending on your application, your knowledge experience, determine the kind of training you will undergo in this program. Now we have here, preparatory, disruptor, innovative, and startup. Cool down, I will explain to you. Preparation means elementary, kidangadi, KG. Uh-huh. Let me just explain that way to you. So those people that are just, you know what? I'm a fresher. I'm a new day. I don't know what to do in this business, but I really need this money. And I know with God on my side, with this my fine face, with my cool voice, I'm sure you people will pity me and give me the money. Uh-huh. All of you are in KG school. Many people are rich. That together, they will teach you the basic fundamentals of it, meaning you're just coming in, but you have something wonderful that can do things. That is what 40, 49.16% of people that fit into that category for 2021 at a glance. Guess that now. So this is just two years ago. Then disruptor are those people that say, you know what? Damn it. I'm coming in to change the game. I'm coming in to turn up with, I'm coming in to take this eye and put it on that air. Take this, your small BS, and put it on top of your head. Now, you're going to disrupt the system. For example, uh, let's take a uh, boat or Tassify or Uber. Now, Uber came and disrupted the transition system globally. Now, not that they stop it, but you can now, with an app on your phone, at the comfort of your room, order a car that will come to your place and pick you up to wherever you want to go. For example, now this is a boat app. Now this is, this disrupted the business system of transportation. Likewise, we have here, yeah, what is known as, um, what is it called again? Um, Uber Eats. Now this Uber Eats is an app you can use to download, eh, sorry, not download food, order for food. So like in Nigeria, we have Jumia food, um, in Europe, yeah, they have Uber E, they have Woot. All these are disruptor, meaning they are not changing the system, but they just came to make it in different. Those people that are into that category in that year are 33, 38.79%. Innovators, these people are coming with brand smoking ideas. Their head is bringing smoke. They are bringing in new ideas. But girl, nothing is actually new. It's just a different way just like six and a half a dozen means the same thing. The same way innovators are coming in, just like Tesla. We used to have, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? Um, a toy car. Now this guy came with a new innovation. Okay, how about we do it this way? So you're coming in with a good new idea. They fell into what? 35.78%. Uh, then start up. These are people that have moved from the preparatory stage that have moved from the idea stage, they are now what in the startup level. This people form 20, 25.83%. Please, these data will open your eyes. Now, when you are applying for this thing, don't go and apply. See, it's five thousand dollars And most, you know, Africans now, we believe in, if they have to say we should fight to get this money, just imagine, I'm, what strength do you have? Maybe the guy from Cameroon would have beat you, beat you blue black. Maybe the guy from Nigeria would have broke your head, or the guy from Cha, Niji. But they don't want us to fight together. But then I say, you know what? Use your brain to fight and get this money. So that's why information is power. But information and knowledge put in the right place gives you power and authority. That's why I'm giving you this so that I can have power and authority. Mm-hmm. Let's continue. So the top sector by applicant are Greek. Because the agricultural people now come here. I believe we've, done, we've run through this before. So what we'll do, let's continue there. So let's leave this pitching part. This one will be what I'll do in May. 
this year for you. So let's go back to the main application. I believe you are getting value so far. I know you're like, ah, man, this guy, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Don't worry. I'm free. It's a new year. I'm giving you. I'm, I'm a generous person. I'm free. I'm a good guy. So let's continue. And if you're getting value, hit the notification button. Hit. 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 What I mean? Hit it. If it's your laptop, blow the notification button. If it's your phone, smash the notification button. But I'll not pay to repair anything for you. So let's continue. So now, before you apply, this is what you're going to see. <clears throat> At this point, you know that this is the ninth edition of the Tunili Melu 5,000 Foundation Grant. Understand this thing. Meaning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine years on the road, back to back. They're giving it to Africa, back to back, back to back, back to back. So, the new foundation entrepreneurial program is a 100 million commitment made by the Elimelu family to empower 10,000 African entrepreneurs over a 10 years period through training, mentorship, and funding. They're going to train you, they're going to give you mentorship, and not give you the money to implement what you've been trained on I want to be mentored on. Then the goal is to create at least 1 million jobs and contribute over, what, 10 billion revenue to Africa economy. Let's fire on. Through the flagship of the entrepreneurship program, the foundation empowers African entrepreneurs and entre entrepreneurship ecosystem across 54 African countries. I'm not some of you don't country in Africa. Now you now know. Thank God, 54 country, 54. So if you are leaving this training, you'll be shouting 54 country, 54 country, 54 country. So the TF training curriculum has been designed to, seg to segment entrepreneurs based on demonstration of capacity and knowledge. That's how when I take you back to what I said earlier on. Either you're in disruptor category, innovator category, startup category, or ideas category. Now, those four categories, I mean, we are depending on the capacity and knowledge you have displayed through your application would not tell me where you fall into. So the training has been tailored to educate and capitalize you. Uh, yes, capitalize you to in starting and growing your business to overcome the challenges facing the entrepreneurs across Africa. Africa continent. The curriculum is focused on what? Practical, illiterate. Which grammar they put here? Illiterative. Sorry, you know I'm a bushman. You no, know, I went to ninth school, so I cannot pronounce that grammar. But sure, there's you mean practical, and you want to learn. So that is useful for a long term period. Yes, I can tell you this part of it. I can tell you, at this point in time, I can categorically tell you that if you go through it in Malu program, I can tell you that the value you will get, whether you win the money or you don't win the money, definitely, most definitely, and for sure, you would always, always remember and go with this knowledge. But this one of us here, you after the money. So let's look at the stages. I'm going to click on this for you to see that stages. Now, they're going to be the first stage, which is the form filling. The form filling is what? The person, your personal information. They're not going to be asking you how many children do you have. They're going to just ask you basic questions. Sorry, this is making me feel heat. Now I'm not feeling it. I was feeling cold before. But now that the deliverance service is going on for $5,000, I'm not feeling heat. So before I was cold, but now I'm heat and feeling heat. Yes, sure. My friend not to pass, so be free. Don't worry. Let me show you. He's my friend. He's, he's single. If you want to marry, can marry him. <laughs> so let's continue. So, so look at the personal aspect. Your personal information, they will ask you questions about yourself. You feel that aspect, they will not click on next. They will ask you commercial information. What does this really mean? Commercial information is simply talking about your business. Are you in a startup stage? How long have you been in operation? Is it registered? Where is it registered? What sector is the business in? Is it agriculture? What are the subsession sectors? All these things fall under commercial information. So don't be so scared with the big grammar. Then, coordinative assessment. Don't come and check your head. Not if you are colo or if you are hey, But you want to check it. You won't know how businesses even work. So, they'll give you two kind of questions. One is basic arith business arithmetic, not mass. And if I say mass, you'll be, ah, I'm going to solve calculator. No. You ain't solving calculator. It's called arithmetic. If Kufo, 
in Ghana meet Shishasha. <laughs> Shishasha in South Africa and now meet Bimbo or Emeka in Nigeria. You have to share 5,000 Naira. How will they share it? That is the kind of things you're going to see. It's not going to be, if S is equal to Q2, what is the appearance of Z and F? No, not going to kind of further maths. It's basic business maths arithmetic. So after that, they'll ask you basic questions. Like, what do your... Uh, I saw a question like, um, if somebody is using your kind of brand, would you sue the person or would you continue your business? They ask another question, if somebody is a marketer. So, so it's just going to be busy business question. Please read through these questions and answer it. Don't go and do to boo to boo. Anyhow, let me just guess work it. No, not that. Remember the data, 450,000 people are applying. They apply for two years. Only God know who would apply this 2023. You know what I mean? Then we look at declaration. That declaration, I'm looking at what? Um, do you have any relationship with any terrorist group? I know it's going to say no. Even though you have, you're going to say no. All right, that kind of thing. So they're going to ask you, do you have issues? That have you previously have police issues? Like you've been arrested or something related to crime? You have yes or no? Please click no. If you know, you have. You don't know. You must click yes to show. Then, do you have any affiliation relationship with any staff or member of the Tony Meluf Foundation? If you have, declare. If you don't have, say no. Like me, I don't know anybody there. So, if you do ask on that question again, um, so that some set of questions you give declaration yes or no, yes or no. Let's take it as after that you submit the form. Then you will not do not give you a feedback on the form. Then they're going to ask you to upload a valid means of identification. Very important. What does it mean? So they should know that you are the one actually applying for this. Not you're going to hire machineries. I see some people inside my DM, in my Instagram, my Facebook, in my WhatsApp. Those people that have my WhatsApp number. Um, Cyber, and I want you to please help me apply. No, 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 no. No, I can't apply for you. I can't. You can pay me. I'll guide you coach you on what to do but i don't apply for people no mm -hmm. so let's continue so we'll look at it after that you upload your valid id card so i have to be sure that you are the one applying it your data in the record should correspond with what you have as a valid ID. what during your pitching at the feature if you skate through they're going to ask you to upload your valid id card They'll verify it with what you recorded. So please, in the beginning, let's not take it a step further. We're making progress. We're making progress. We're making progress. So what to expect from this program? The first phase is going to be what? Application phase. That's what we're going to look at right now. You are applying after you finish applying. They will not get back to you on it. Do you qualify or you do not qualify? And on that, then you will not be shortlisted into the categories based on your application. Are you going to be in idea stage? Are you going to be in startup stage? Are you going to be in disruptor stage? Are you going to be in innovative st stage? These questions fall in the area. Then after that, we now be fall into trainings. I'll be showing you how the training is going to look like, the modules of the trainings. They are going to send you seven modules. You're going to read, answer, read and answer, read and answer, please. Our advice, please, in all you do, try and get 90 and above because... You're going to meet some people that are very tough. You're going to be 90, try and get 90 and above. 90, minimum 95. If you can get 95, hit it hard, hit it hard. See, doing a way that they check you, they remove everything, they say you must qualify. So please take time to read these modules. You're going to cover your bees. I'm going to explain that to us in this video. Take time to read through. Wake up in the night, early in the morning, when your brain the water in the back of your head. You know, they have some memory card. Memory card and not yet finish loading for the day. Uh -huh. Dial in the morning. Answer those questions. If you have team that work with you, people should read through and answer together. If you have a friend that is knowledgeable, that understands what you want to do, not gaming the system, not cheating the system, you can come together, read together and answer it. But please, the friend should have stuff in his head. Not you that have a coconut head going to turn that coconut head to come ahead. What will happen? 
people will be making kind of noise because when people could not hear the meat, they'll be making kind of coconut, but when two flesh meat, they're making kind of soft noise. So the point is this you read, get someone who have a flesh in his head that I've read to and answer. <laughs> Let's continue. So they are part this. If you have, if you skate through this phase, it's now called the pitching stage. Now you're going to do a one to one twenty minute video. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to talk English. You're going to speak English. Hello, I am uh, Mary from Akwaibo. I'm Mary from Accra. I'm Mary from Vasa. I'm Mary from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm Mary from um, Egypt. I want to tell you that my business plan can change the world and make um a monk the president of africa mm -hmm. what kind of grammar so you now speak it in that 120 minutes video which is minimum of two to three minutes to explain in details what your business idea is that is where mentors or uh, people like us that work with them two years ago come in to watch those videos and say this person qualify or the person should take the next boss home in his dream you hear me that Clearly. So let's continue. So then you look at the business plan. The business plan will be sent to you by Ibukun, either by email, or they'll put a link on the YouTube channel where you can download that link and you see the application there. And one of that now, I beg you, please try to ensure you meet attendance. It's very important. Don't say you will replay because you're going to be sending the link to the V to your email, telling you when is the next session for review. So please try and attend all the sessions don't say it does not mean it matters please do everything needed it costs you nothing to attend those sessions i understand you may be very busy but remember when you want to collect the money you know be busy again you will create time to go and collect the five thousand dollars so now for the process let's talk don't let your village people make you you know make you miss any of those sessions read every material they send to you then after pitching you now have what it will not be bravo, well done, who oh, you faithful servant that have read it in the new commandment. Take the 5,000 seed capital to go and spoil your business for good. Then after that, the application phases for this year will be ending by 31st of March, meaning the application phase, yeah, the application will take, the, you see, this will take the application phase from January 1st, which is already ongoing, to 31st of this month. Once the application is closed, eligible applicant will, will be given access to the World of Business Training Program. That is to say, you're coming back to this word, training and mentorship phase. Then, preparatory stage, I'll read. See, applicants who are not eligible will be placed on preparatory category. This means that you do not have the set skills needed to start a business. You will go through the general training training. On the TF Connect, you will, however, not be eligible to the mentorship and seed stage. Uh -huh. You got it interesting now. So, now, the question is the meaning your idea was good, but it was not just good enough. You have something you want to do, but when you look of things, the, what you've put in, what you've said you want to do, it's not fixable. Not that it's not good, but it's not fixable. So, though, it's okay, you know what? Come, you be a neighbor, come this direction. Uh -huh. Come to the overflow of the church and stay where pastor will meet you after service. And they'll push people to that side. <laughs> so then that is created in now going say the TF TF uh, business management training. This program means this means that you ask you are skate through the application phase and we go through the TF management program models and you will have access to the world of classic mentors and coaches doing well. And that's where you meet people like me. I will not come and embrace you. Oh, I know you. You will listen to my you because I can see all your face. Everybody watching this video, I can see you. Mm -hmm. How is spiritual? They say, oh yeah, I remember you watched my video. Wonder the way when you come to say, let's talk. So they will not give mentors in this program different mentees. So we cannot work with you to refine your idea to help you do that. So after that, we now have a mentorship and training. All these are balabu bluba stages. Then pitching phase and continue. But if I click on continue here, why am I not able to continue is because of this reason. I have already applied for this. So because of this, continuation will not uh, be fixable. You could see here, um, this is my own portal here, Abraham Rukbe 2023. Yeah. If I should refresh this, 
quickly. I pray my internet does not disappoint me call my village people right now. If I refresh that, you see that at the end of the day, it showed that application, okay, it logged me out. Let me log in again. So that the application have already submitted application for 2023. That is why I'm unable to proceed further. But nevertheless, you could see 100% completed. So meaning before I come to teach you, I already apply because this journey, it is what it is. So you say, Abraham, after you finish applying, you have this, your application has been successfully submitted. The TA Detachment Program team contact, it contact, we contact you via email on eligibility. And the next phase will be 22nd of April, meaning after January 1st to March 30th. After for January 1st, to March 31st. Sorry, my friend is playing. Okay, okay. So after 30, after from 1st of January to 31st of March this year, the action phase has closed. Then by April, the next phase of training will not take place. So this shows that I've been done, this has been done, and an email has been sent to me. So let's now go to the real business of today. How to apply? I know some of us are guru guru. We've not we've done all these things. So this is my own uh, dashboard. These are the process. These are the pitching time for pitching. But let's not go there. I'll teach you this later. So let me open this. Good, good, good. So this is what happened there. These are the Moodle's learning system for the next phase. This you're going to have Moodle like this, like Moodle one. I'm not, I'm not talking about Moodle of Rice. So, uh, so I'm just about Moodle one. Talking about start your business. You're going to read through things like this. And I talk about what <clears throat> defining enterprise, identify your business point of opportunity, understanding the competitive landscape in your business environment. This is what you're going to read. Then after that, you will not do what answer questions based on what you've read. So meaning, what you'll be asked is not abstract. It's not what you did not read. Is what is inside what you read. So this is module seven. Decide the group and practice session. Then this is what module six. Building enduring brand and business network. Are you together, please? Then this is now like what module five. Implementing marketing plan and improving sales outcome. Then let's look at what module three. Leadership and business growth. Let's take this again. And Moodle 4, Business Management Fundamentals. We look at the next one, be what? Moodle 2, Business Ownership. Then we'll now look at this one, Moodle 4, Business Management Fundamentals. Then um, all these are what will be in the next phase after application. You read through this and what? Apply. It, so you read through this and write, and uh, just write the test, assessment test on this. This will not determine and qualify. That's what I'm saying in this. For example, if you are taking Moodle 1, please get 95 minimum. If you can get 95, 95, 95, 95, 95. Let me bring my calculator out here. Let's do, I believe you see my calculator. Get yeah, my calculator here. Yeah. I, I see my village people has come. Okay, good. Calculator refused to come out. The calculator is angry. Okay, it has come out. So let's now put 95 times 7. That's about 660, um, 60 what? 65 divided by, uh, I don't know how to get to divide, I know you divide by 7. So meaning you got 95. It just assume so over 100. But I don't know how to get to do it. So you should not feel, oh, he, he, he has uh, told me something different during this session. So let's continue now. I have a few minutes to go. So yeah, you now look at this, at this point here. I look at this at this point. This is the application process. You choose here. After you come to, you go to TF Connect. You click, are you male or female? Let's say I'm a male. You put your phone number, 33346142. Sorry, I need to be serious with this thing. 70. Three three four six one four two six. That's the phone number. So let's now pick a date of birth and see when was um this guy giving birth to. Let's put it six. Let's go to October. Let's put nineteen, and that is for that. 
Do not come to the sector. What sector are you in? Let's come to agri. That is where my business is. Let's now, I'm just putting this whole thing as Jimmy. This is what we are doing. So let's now go. I've already applied it. This is just to this is just for teaching purpose. So let's now come here. Let's put Nigeria. I'm fluent in English. And I put complete on board. We click on that. What's going on here? It's supposed to have moved. Complete on board session. Sorry, something is not adding up here. Good. You could see here. This is my session here. This is my the if I not click here now. This is the program. It still shows that it's hundred percent. I don't know why I could not log in here, but I believe. Let me log out here. So this is what you should do when you are applying. I want to put you through the application stages. A second, Jimmy. Invalid email. Okay, let's sign up here. I sign up here. Probably you're getting value so far. It's going to be a very long one. So I want you to get value. I want you to see what you can do. So you come here, good. Type entrepreneurship, not mentorship. You're not into mentorship. So click on entrepreneurship. We're back to this place again. We click on onboard. Okay, good. Here we are now. So you can see this is how your dashboard will look like. You're not come to application, please. You have no business in this place. Now you are doing. Click on application. Apply. You see, they have different ones. These ones have been closed. You come here and click on apply. Choose where you are applying from. This English. I cannot speak uh, Bon Monsieur, but I can speak English. Click on English. Then here are what the terms and condition, the eligibility. You read through these things. So there's no need for we've wrote, we've talked about this already. I've read through this in that other place. You just come straight down here. Please read, read, and click accept. These are the following guidelines. So everything I read just now is here. I'll read again. Say what <clears throat> the guidelines for assessment. Read the following carefully. Let me divide it into four sections. Into four sessions and would require 45 minutes to complete. It is recommended that you take the assessment in an environment free from distraction, your village people distraction and your self-distraction with optimal con concentration. Please note that you are to answer all questions you can and take the assessment. You have to upload your valid ID card. If you are, on, if you are under 18, you are disqualified. If you have received the grant before, you are disqualified. Click on this next. So let's say you want to do that. You can see what I was explaining earlier on here. So you have to come here. And what? This is your bio. That was what I explained in the beginning. So let's fill all these details here. Um, but let's just leave this. I'm not going to submit this just for training purpose. It's my planet farms, the name of my farm. Farms Limited. Let me just put it there. Are you male or female? Yes, this is the date of birth, assuming so. Then you now come here, put your age, how old are you, the range, put this amount here. I say amount, sorry, I like money so much. The level of education, you can put BSc there. Your country, where are you applying for? Abuja, Nigeria, you put your address, wherever you are applying from. Then now come here. I you remember what I said in the beginning of this video. Are you in a rural area or urban? You click rural, rural area. Then, if yes, you say, have you assessed the grant before? No, I've not assessed it, baby. So why should I apply? Then your your card, your voter's card, and put international passport. Then the passport number, you can just put the passport number there and say, this is your passport number there. Then you cannot choose a, yeah. Remember what I said about you click here. Please, you must put it to a JPEG because they don't accept PDF. At this stage, so put a JPEG. So I just upload something from my system randomly. How did you hear about this program? Is it through Babylon? Is it through Lufufu? Is it through Tatafu? Is it through or through? But me, I had it through email. You choose there. Then I go to the next one. So, yeah, you're going to tell them about your business. 
what your business is about. You're going to just let me just put here. Which grammar did I put in mind again? Just now? let me just put one grammar here to to create poultry eggs and white meat chicken and chicken white meat chicken i'm just writing to just go through of time chicken white meat for homes don't read what i'm writing so you don't say you're writing rubbish so just to put you now you need to put your idea here then you're not put here you see so please this idea should be clear and concise clear free from grammar then which United Nations um, SDG? SDG means Sustainable Development Goals. Under United Nations, there are 17 of them. No poverty, go two, zero hunger, go three, health and well-being. So which area do your business for a support? Naminto agree. So as is number one, zero hunger. Number two, um, Number, number, I'll choose eight, decent work environment. And the number one will not be what? Um, I choose something in my team. Yes, no poverty because we're trying to create food so that people can have businesses. You can have businesses to do. Now you're coming to buy egg from me. You resell, you make money. So this is how you, so you think of which of the goals do your business come close to. Go to take time. I'm going to read about SDG on Google so I can know what to do about this place. Then, does your business uh, support any climate? Yes, we support. How do poultry farms support? One, we create, we offer the poultry, the chicken dumps in my farm. Now, you put the chicken dumps in my farm, is which is converted to manure, can be used to do what? To put in trees that can help for climate change so that they can grow more tree. The chicken dumps in the farm is being used to do what again? Uh, which palabu is used for growing tomatoes, which can help for X, Y, Z. Think about how your business support climate change in your environment. The name of your business, let's put, let me just put my penny farms here. Now, remember I choose a Greek in the beginning. You will not come here. Then the address, I've choose the address. You're not talking about the local government. Not about the local government area. Then I've put the local government. See what I talked about earlier on. Is it idea stage, infant stage, growth stage, or maturity stage? My brain is in growth stage, so hit the growth stage button there. Then if your business is registered, yes, it's good to have a registered business. It gives you an edge. So please. Have a registered business. It gives you an edge. You click here. How many employees do you have? You come here and put that we have six in my farm. I put five there. Then do you have a business partner? This is a very tricky question. Now, if you say you have, they're going to ask you, did your partner agree for you to apply for this? To avoid issues that long when the money comes? You're going to apply, click yes or no. Now, I don't have a partner. I put no. If I have put yes, I see you guys upload the letter from them. Is your business in the rural area? Remember that data I showed in the beginning of this session. You click on that. Let's not click on continue. What happened? Something is not doing good. Okay, sector. I'll put livestock farming there. So this is just basically what I believe we can do. So you can see, great work, 40% done. If you're not coming here and click here, now, see something now. These are two sessions. He said, yeah. The next two sessions consist of personal questions, financial and business acumen questions. The time taken for this question is 45 minutes to both, 45 minutes to complete both sessions. It's recommended that you take assessment in an environment suitable with suitable internet free from distraction and ultimate con concentration. You can only take this assessment once after you've clicked continue and save. So you cannot come back, click and add on away. No, you can easily either click continue, save to continue. Yeah, so you, meaning once you click in it, you cannot become say, okay, I had the assessment once, let me save it here and come back and continue. No, you can do save and continue in the orders. But under this assessment, you're going to sit down with your bonbon 
under your chair and write it once. So what do I mean by this? I'm not going to click on anything here. So you go back and do this thing. So then you have a question, your personal questions and um, personal questions and what else again? Business acumen. After that, you will now come back to what? This declaration aspect. Then it says save now to continue later. So you can either save now to continue later. But under this test, you can see here, yeah, look down here. Yeah, I know some of you, your system. Look by my right where my mouth, you see, know you. Now this get to know you, your bio, your, your experience and your data. Why this is a bad Sorry, I'm looking this way because this is the story. You're not seeing this guy. I explaining him. So personal test, personal test, personality test, the cognitive test. You not get that declaration. You submit. Then you now wait for them. Then after March 31st, before they'll now give you a feedback. I'm going to do a next video on the questions and answers for those who are interested. It's free. It's free. So all I need for you is just to click on my YouTube channel and tell me, Mr. Abraham, I appreciate what you've done. And thank you very much. So thanks for your time to have sit down to watch this video. And I wish you good luck in the quest for five thousand US dollars in the Melu Foundation seed for your business. If you need coaching and guidance from me or my team, just click on. If you follow me on Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, or chat me directly on my WhatsApp, is there. I will take it off from there. Have a wonderful adventure in twenty twenty three. TF 5000 grand. See you at the top. Bye for now.